Here's a quick demo of how these endpoints are represented within BigPix and the data available. Here on this page, we can see some charts denoting the makeup of the devices by device types and including cloud and OS makeup. I'm going to scroll down here and we can currently see an unfiltered list of these devices in the space that are a mix of dedicated hardware or virtual endpoints of various origins, along with some basic but customizable properties in the view to the right. Um, and over here on the right, I can take and select you know, various filters uh, to select the operating system, uh, the computer groups that I have in the environment, uh, where I've got those logically, uh, you know, siloed into, uh, you know, different application server groups and so forth by IP ranges, DNS names, et cetera. And again, I can add various properties here to filter on. Uh, so completely customizable. You'll also notice here on the left, uh, next to the endpoint names, uh, various icons. And so you'll see a small BigFix icon denoting that this is BigFix managed only. Uh, you'll also see uh, icons that are just a cloud that shows that uh, we are managing that uh, we, this device is visible via our use of the cloud native APIs, or whether we also have a big fix agent on the device, as noted with this device right here. Okay, so it has both a big fix agent providing full command and control, but we received initial visibility to the existence of that endpoint via the cloud native APIs. Now I'm going to bring up a tab uh, that I already have open for one of the cloud only devices so we can look at what we're retrieving with BigFix. So let's look at this device that is visible via the cloud native APIs and uh, you know not only are we discovering this endpoint with BigFix but also capturing properties uh, specific to its presence uh, in this case on Amazon Cloud. BigFix does this whether it's Amazon, Google Cloud, or Microsoft Public Clouds uh, as well as the VMware private clouds within your environment. And so we know that this is a uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux device. Uh, we've got some information on its subnet address. Uh, we have its DNS name. We know exactly uh, what its account label is, what its availability zone is. Okay. We can have our key names applied. So these are any custom tags that you've added. Uh, to this endpoint within Amazon. Uh, and it gives me a basis of not only just the discovery of the device, but visibility that it's there and the ability now to decide whether I want to bring this device under management. So let's look at a device that was discovered both via our cloud native APIs, uh, but also has a big fix agent on it. Um, and so what you're gonna notice here is the depth of additional properties. And so I know at a granular detail that uh, this is a virtual Windows 10 device and the specific uh, you know, OS versioning, the free space on the primary drive, the CPU, and I'm starting to get even more granular details um, about the device. And these properties represent the aggregate properties from both the cloud discovery that we do and the in-depth OS properties as well as hardware details but correlated all on the same page and as I scroll down here I get to see all the services that we're running in Windows and once I get past that all the Microsoft Azure properties so again this is a Microsoft public cloud device you can see the difference in what Microsoft is allowing us to expose uh, with those APIs and of course the agent is pulling back all the installed Windows uh, applications. And so all those additional properties are great. And you know, this view is customizable so that we can report on or view thousands of more properties should you need them. Now note that while this is a singular device view, BigFix has built-in reporting that allows you to view this data in the format you desire across you know, a single endpoint like we're looking at here or across many hundreds or thousands of endpoints within your enterprise. And so that's a great example of the additional visibility you get when you add the BigFix agent to an endpoint. But let's talk about management next. I'm switching to the patches tab on this device. Let's click over here. And you'll see that we have 19 patches uh, of some sort available 
uh, for this machine. And so this is what is needed on the endpoint or you know what we've detected as relevant in big fix for the endpoint. And I can filter on patch severity. And so I'm gonna filter on critical. And you will note that uh, no patches, no critical patches are found as needed for this device. So our, our big fix admin in this case is doing a great job at keeping this device patched. Let's uh, include important patches. So here we have a security update for SQL Server, which is obviously installed on this device. And if I chose to do so, uh, I could deploy this patch at this time via the deploy button here on the right hand side. But Big Fix allows me to add efficiency by deploying this patch as part of a larger patch baseline to either singular endpoints or you know many tens or hundreds or even thousands of endpoints, or choose to automate patch delivery via our patch policies feature, which will take into consideration the patch filtering and maintenance windows that you require in your enterprise. Of course, I can deploy custom content uh, via Big Fix, and I'm clicking on the custom tab here. So I have various, uh, you know, uh, custom content that allows me to script in uh, via Big Fix, you know, device settings, uh, software settings, security settings, and so forth. And then I can also use this to deploy software packages. And so I can create those packages right here in Big Fix and then choose to deploy those uh, to the endpoint as a standard deployment or even allow the user to self-serve via a self-service application. And then from a deployment perspective, I can look at how successful I am in delivering various actions uh, or actionable content remediations to this endpoint. And while this is a singular device view, I can view this across, again, many tens, hundreds, or thousands of endpoints at a time. So the key takeaway here in this demo is that we can put all your on-prem, private cloud, and public cloud endpoints within your fingertips, within one interface for visibility to those endpoints, and provide a singular reporting interface, as well as a single console for command and control of those endpoints configuration and security posture.